So today we're gonna get this little guy out of the fiesta. I already have I already have it out. This is in the future. It's already done. Went with the M factory. Uh, I love it. Uh, anyways, here's the steps to do it. So, got to make sure this guy's in neutral. So this has to be right in that middle position. This has to not be in the back, not in the front, right in that middle position. That's where you want to be. So now we're going to flip it up. Now we're going to go all the way around, get all 17 of these bolts. Had to pop off this little bracket that was sitting right here. On there, you might not have your isolator on because you can't get it out of the car with it on most of the time, but yeah. So yeah, this one sits in front of here. Pop that off. The missus is on to me. I don't think she's happy I'm working on my transmission in here. Oh God, back to work. That should be all the bolts all the way around right there. They are all exactly the same size, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. Uh, I have been informed that as long as I clean up my mess, I am good to go and that there is no anger in me doing this here, which is a awesome news. All right, next up, we're going to flip this thing over. We're going to get the clutch slave out. Okay, so now we got to get this clutch slave off. This is an eight millimeter right here. 8 millimeter on the bottom. I know, an 8 mil on there. It's <laughs> a little scary, but... Alright. I got the gremlin over here. Alright, now staring at her head on, we got this one, this one, this one, this one. That should be it. And these are all 10 mils, so pop those off, and then we should be ready to crack her in half. Oh, that one's stuck. Come on. 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 Come on.
is real heavy, so looks like we might actually have to give it a little helping hand. how you do it oh my god you couldn't even see me all right <laughs> so i just banged on it with this little p hammer right on the rim real light so it popped off just going around in a circle and then cool i got a cool little desk ornament out of this baby little diff baby little diff yeah so now Time to put the real diff in. So yeah, it's gonna pop in just like this. I'm gonna put it up and I'll put all those in there just finger tight to get them seated. I'm saving four of these. actually torque these even though they are only temporary thirty seven foot pounds on up to thirty seven Now our next step is to take all those bolts out, discard all these, and then we've got a bag of new ones. We're going to torque those to 37, and uh, then we're going to do 180 degrees. Okay. So, you want to put the red Loctite on there. Now I know, I know this stuff is red Loctite. Got to go on all 10 of these bolts. You buy the Ford Performance Installation Kit. It comes with... Now this right here is what the factory service manual recommends. Use Loctite 262 Permanent High Strength Red Locker. Heavy shock and vibration. This is Ford formula. This is big bucks. So, I'm actually, since I have this, I'm going to use it instead of my old Loctite Red, which, I mean, that should do the same, really. Oh, what the motherfucker. All right, so we're back on the 37-inch pound train. Uh, 37... I'm sorry, did I say inch pound? I meant foot pound. So we're going to torque all these in basically a star rotation. So you're supposed to torque. So to do it easily, I'm going to do, you know, this one first, this one last because it's in my way. And then I'm going to jump here. Boop, boop, boop. I'll show you. I'll, I'm going to put a graphic up right now for how you're supposed to tighten it.
Okay, so now that that's done, the really hard part comes. We're gonna give 90 on each one, so we're really gonna wanna smack that guy down. We're gonna follow the same order. I'll put the graphic up one more time. So if we're here, we need to be here at the end of it. Oh my God. <sighs> Okay, so now that that's done, the really hard part comes. We're gonna give 90 on each one, so we're really gonna wanna smack that guy down. We're gonna follow the same order. I'll put the graphic up one more time. So if we're here, we need to be here at the end of it. Oh my God. <sighs> There you go. There you go. Definitely, you're gonna have to go contact to contact. That's gotta be 90. That's it. One down. This time we started here. And then up to here. So we're doing 90, so we gotta start. Dead on 90. So we're gonna go just a little bit. Alright, so the key to getting these carrier bearings on, I didn't use a special service tool or anything. I literally put the differential outside in the cold and then I put the carrier bearing in the oven at, you know, as low as it would go. I think it was like 150, 180 degrees or something like that. And then uh, once they both got up to the right temperatures, uh, I just basically slid them on and it went on perfect. So don't need to buy that SSD. Now, I'm going to set the strands back up like this, use the box from the dip to kind of support it a little bit. I'm going to set this differential back in very, very carefully. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of brake clean and clean this mating surface right here. So um, the gearbox didn't have any sort of sealant from the factory, 
um, but the instructions say to go ahead and seal all this off. Uh, so I'm going to clean everything up with some brake clean on a rag and then uh, put a thin 3 millimeter strip of sealant all the way around this guy right here. Actually, there's some sealant. This is just grease. But yeah, before you do anything else, you want to grease this guy up a little bit with some actual gear oil. Kind of try to get in the little holes. My foreman's not very fond of the smell of brake clean in the house, but uh oh. Keeping a watchful eye over me. <laughs> I got it back on. I just had to tap it a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't film it. Uh, I was working with a limited time frame with gasket maker and stuff like that. Got it all back on. Got these bolts in. Blue Loctite on everything. And pretty much every bolt besides the, um, <clears throat> the slave cylinder is 32 newton meters. But we'll blue locks out everything first and then check everything for torque. Alright, so we're on the home stretch now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and torque everything to 32 newton meters on the outside here. I'm just basically going to go around the case. It says to go diagonally, uh, so I'm just going to zip here, then zip there. Easy peasy. On this left, uh, clutch slave cylinder is supposed to be torqued to, I believe, 11 newton meters. Yes, those are the little 8 mil bolts. Um, should be good to go. Um, so now I'm just waiting on my clutch and a couple other things before I can install it in the car. Really, really like this unit. Got a really good price on it. Um, the amount of traction that was gained was just kind of off the wall. It did change how the car understeered a little bit, but other than that, I had no complaints. Definitely one of the best upgrades I did to the car.